Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the third section of my training video, I had covered the topic till cells. To watch my other session of training videos, please click on the link in the description box below. Or you can also access them by clicking on above card. The next training topic is editing. Let's get started. In the editing section, we have five things. Quick calculation, fill, clear, sort and filter, find and select. So now let's start with quick calculation. Under quick calculation, we have sum, average, count numbers, maximum, minimum, and if you want a more function, we can find that here. So basically what quick calculation does, instead of typing the formula, it will help you out to key in the formula for you. Let me show you how it works. So click on the cell, whichever cell you want, where you want the result. So I'll select this cell and I'll click on sum. See, as soon as I click on sum, I did not key in the formula, it automatically uh, keyed in formula and also selected the data. So after uh, clicking on sum, I have to hit enter. It is giving me the total of this five cell, that is 1516. In the same way, the next option is average. As soon as I click on average, it will automatically select the data and the formula will also be keyed in for you. All you have to do is hit enter. So that gives you an average of all this five cell. Next is count numbers. Same thing, you have to hit enter. It will count the number of cells which has numbers inside it. So right now I have numbers inside five cells. That is the reason to show me the answer as five. So the next option is maximum. Hit enter. So maximum of all this number is 363 and the result is 363. And the next option is minimum. Hit enter. And the minimum of all this five number is 256. And that's what the result is showing here. So it's very simple. If you want to explore other functions, you can do that by clicking on more functions and you can get other stuffs here. Like hyperlink count, maximum, sum f, all this stuff. So the next option in editing is fill. Fill is nothing but instead of you typing same data next to the adjacent cells, you can use this option to fill the data automatically for you. Let me show you how it works. So right now we can see next to cost the cells are blank and again under the Austin Martin the cells are blank now if I want to fill the cost data inside this cells all I have to do is select like this to the right side of the cost and click on right see it will automatically fill the data for you in the same way if you want to fill Austin Martin in these three cells, you have to click on down. See? It will automatically fill the data for you. And it is same thing applies to left and up. It is same thing. Next option in editing is clear. Under clear, we'll get multiple option. Clear all, clear formats, clear contents, clear comments, clear hyperlinks. So let me click on clear all first. So I have a data here. So let me click on clear all. So as soon as I click on clear all, entire data, including formats and colors, everything is cleared out. So let me undo it. 
In the same way, instead of clearing entire data, you can just clear the format. Let me show you how it works. See? It just cleared all the colors and for whatever format you had in place. Uh, it cleared everything and left out only the data for you. Next option is content. So as soon as I click on content, it does the opposite of clear format. So here it has left all the formats for you and it has only cleared the data means content. Next option is comments. Right now we can see I have added comments in this three cell. So instead of you going and deleting the comment manually, you can do that by clicking on clear comment. See the clear as soon as I click on clear comment, the comments got deleted. And the next option is hyperlink. You can see I have hyperlinks here. If I click on that, it will take me to that particular site. So if I have to remove the hyperlink, all I have to do is clear hyperlink. So right now we can see here there is no hyperlink in it. I am clicking on it but still it's not working. It's because it has removed the hyperlink. So that's all we have for clear. Next is sort. So under sort we have A to Z, Z to A and custom sort of filter. Let me select the data and click on sort smallest to largest. The data got sorted from 1 to 10. Next is largest to smallest and things will change accordingly. The next option we have in sort is custom sort. In the custom sort we can sort both this column by using this option. Let me add a level here and show you how it works. So I have two levels here. In the first level I'm going to select the name, name column. It is nothing but this thing. What do you see in column B and then I'll select rank. So rank is nothing but column A. You can see the headings of those columns. That is what I'm showing here. Right now what I'm doing is I'm sorting by name first. That is A to Z and then I'll sort it by rank. That is smallest to largest. As soon as I click on this you can see the changes in the spreadsheet. See? So next is filter. First you have to click on entire data and you can add filter to it. After adding filter, filter is nothing but if you want to. Now again you can sort it here as well if you want. So smallest to largest, largest to smallest, everything in, can be done here as well. Sort it by color. If you have any color filled in, you can sort it based on that. Or if you want to you know, filter certain data, rank 6, 9, 10, you can do that by selecting like this. Select all. Yes. The same way you can do the same stuff here also. You can select whatever names you want or if you want to sort by name you can do so it's very simple next option is find and select under find and select first thing is find it's very simple if you want to find something in this data you can do it by just keying in that let me type f50 and click on find next it's going to show me where is f50 so it got selected here. In the same way, if I want Ferrari, click on Ferrari, it will go to Ferrari. If you want to find uh, the data which is named Ferrari in the entire sheet, you can do that by clicking on find all. So you can see the results here. The cells are changing. As soon as I click on it, has search all the Ferraris there are four words in the sheet and it has searched all of them find all find next find next is nothing but uh, it's it's going to search one by one find all is it's going to search everything for you 
and you can click whichever you want now there is an option here that is replace replace is nothing but if you want to find something and you want to replace that with something else you can do it right now let me replace Ferrari with test if you want to replace one by one you can do it by clicking on this function I'll show you see first thing got changed here or you want to do it all at a time you can do it by clicking on replace all so you saw the changes here all the Ferraris got replaced next option under find and select is go to go to is very simple if you want to go to any of the cell directly you can do that by keying in that cell number here C10 click OK it will take you to that cell I'll show you one more example see so if you want to go to any of the cell you can utilize this option that's all I have for this training session please do not forget to like this video subscribe and click on that bell icon thank you so much for your time See you in the next video.